A-N-D-Y-D-O-N-S dot com. And uh, click on uh, Ice Cream Sunday Bars. Like I said, you can pick your own ice cream flavors. Choose your own ice cream flavors. And what does it cost? $149.95 plus shipping. Go to dandydons.com and order it. D-A-N-D-Y-D-O-N-S, Dandy Don's Homemade Ice Cream. Bye. Welcome back, everybody. You're hearing the voice of the lovely Denise Donatelli, our guest for the next 20 minutes here on the PM Show with Larry and Nancy Minetti. And uh, guys, wow, I got to say, that is just yeah. powerful. Denise, you got it all. Thank you. No, I mean it. I mean, so hey, look, we're in the same business. And I mean, we got Not gotta... quite, Larry. You can't sing like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to. I wanna... Not even close. Gotcha. I can, <laughs> yeah, I can but stand he's, on the he's stage. Got something, Larry, you got something. I. I listened to that joke that uh, that you said you've been on the floor more times than Johnson's wax. I may have to use that. Oh. I love it. <laughs> hey, Denise, I see that um, you've also done some stuff on television, like promos for Fraser and yeah. Turner Classic. Um, what were those? I see commercials. Well, I did, I did uh, voiceover. I actually did the music. Um, oh, no I, I wow. sang, and that's how I met Neil Hefty. Oh. I sang his his composition cute and what they did was it was for a promo for Frasier so what they did was had me sing mind if I say you're cute and then they'd cut and edit some clips from Frasier you know where he's getting hit over the head ah where he's tripping <laughs> yeah you know so that's what that was all about and and I also did um for Turner Classic Movies we did a um Andrew Sisters Oh, like nice. Promo we sang. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fun. When well, I was working at Turner Broadcasting when I was in Atlanta. I was working during the day because of, because of the divorce, and then I was singing at night at the Ritz-Carlton, which came from my sitting in at that jazz jam. Here's uh, the something. musical director from the Ritz-Carlton was there, and uh, that was quite an experience. Um, I did it for about five years, and I got the gig because, uh, Francine Reed was going on the road with Lyle Lovett, and she was the resident singer. So I would go in there Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday nights, and people like Freddie Cole would come in and hang. Uh, anyone staying at the ho- at the hotel, uh, Nancy Wilson. I met so many people. Wow, and cool! And it was so much fun. Now, how did you get in touch with uh, Jeffrey Keezer? How did that kind of get, come together? Well, I had lived out here. I was living out here at that point. And I already had one album, and I, I did that album with Tom Garvin. And uh, I wanted to do something just a little bit different. And a friend of mine told me that he had moved to the West Coast. Uh, so we put out, you know, we, it, this is such, oh, you know. I mean, everybody knows everybody in this, in this industry. So um, we sent out some emails, and, and next thing I know, I get an email back from him saying, I understand you're looking for me. So uh, I explained to him that I wanted to do another, another CD, and I was interested in him producing and writing for it. 
And uh, we got together, and we worked out a few things and collaborated a little bit, and that was our first album, which was What Lies Within. Wow. Nice. And, and so there's like this whole kinetic energy thing that kind of brought you guys together. And the yeah. work you guys put out, Soul Shadows, uh, Denise Donatelli, Soul Shadows, an amazing piece of work. Like I said, our engineer Tomas, a uh, huge uh -huh. fan, Denise, and uh, was literally jumping for joy when he heard <laughs> you were going to be on the show this week. Oh, uh -huh. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. You know, it's it's it, we wanted to do something completely different from the last one. The last album was so successful, and, it, and we got, he, Jeffrey got a Grammy nomination for his arrangement of Don't Explain, and I got a Grammy nomination for Best Jazz Vocal for that album. It's entitled When Lights Are Low, and, and that really is such a special album. But we decided we wanted to pare down a little bit and uh, make it a little more organic feeling and as opposed to having, you know, um, horn players and drummers and, you know, the whole enchilada. So it's very simple. And... Um, but it comes across, it's so dynamic the way it's presented. Denise, hang in there for just one more minute. We're going to come back from a break, and we'd love to talk to you more about how we can get in touch with you and get a hold of the CD. Do you mind hanging in for one more segment? Sure. Thanks, Denise. Hang Thank in there. Thank you. Guys, we'll be back on the PM Show with Larry and Nancy Minetti right after these messages here on CRN Digital Talk Radio.